Good morning once again. This time we are coming to find the median from group frequency distribution through the cumulative frequency curve. Before we can find that one, we need to be able to sketch the cumulative frequency curve. And by sketching the cumulative frequency curve, we also need to have what we call the upper class boundary, which this time we'll say max or, uh, yeah, max less than, or class less than this time. We also need to get the cumulative frequency of each class. So the class less than or the max less than, you know, 5 plus 6, 11, halfway of it is 5.5. So 5.5 becomes the upper class boundary of the first class, which is all mass within that interval are less than that 5.5. The next one, halfway between 10 and 11 is 10.5. Between 15 and 16 is 15.5. Between 20 and 21 is 20.5. 20 Between 25 and 26 is 25.5. And then after 30, the next one would have been 31. So halfway between the 30 and then 31. Or even if we look at, because it's the same interval, the next one is simply 30.5. What about the cumulative frequency? The first cumulative frequency, uh, the first frequency becomes the first cumulative frequency. The next cumulative frequency, add the 3 to 5, you get 8. Add the 8 to 6, you get 14. Add 14 to 6, you get 20. Add 20 to 8, you get 28. R28 to 2, you get 30. So always the final cumulative frequency should be equal to the total frequency. Now we come to our table, our graph rather. So when we come to the graph, we have the frequencies, the cumulative frequencies here. Or let's say the frequencies, whatever be the case. Then we also have, yeah, that's the cumulative frequency, and we have our class, our class or our max there. You can see that those are the class, the max section. Uh, let's assume that we have, we start from. 5.5 uh, or let me even start from the one which would have been the lower class boundary of the first class which is 0 0.5 then the next one is 5.5 the next one is 10.5 the next one is 15.5 the next one is 20.5 the next one, I need to extend this a little. Max. The next one is 25.5. And the final one is 30.5. Okay. Now, so far as this is concerned, let's come to the, the cumulative frequency side. The highest cumulative frequency is 30. So if here is 0, and then we have here, say, 30. We have 15 here. 1, 2, so this is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay, if we have this and we are going to sketch it, 
at 5.5 its cumulative frequency is 3 it's below 5 so let's assume it's here at 10.5 its cumulative frequency is 8 a little above 10 at 15.5 its cumulative frequency is 14. That is right under 15th mark. At 20.5, its cumulative frequency is 20. So let's look at where 20 is. At 25, at 25.5, its cumulative frequency is 28. Just a little under the 30. And then at the 30.5, its cumulative frequency is 30. So this one is a free hand. When you reach here, you can now go down. So we get our cumulative frequency K. How do we then find the median? So far as this one is concerned, how do we find the median? To find the median, you need to find half way of the total frequency. What is half of the total frequency? It's 15 because half of 30 will give you the 15. So you start from this end. You go with a, 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 a. it should be straight. It should be straight. And after reaching there, After reaching there, you come down. At least, uh, 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 let's look at this. 15. So you go that way, straight. Uh -huh. After reaching there, you come down. You see that it will land somewhere around uh, 16 or 16.5. So let's see let's say this is 16.5 if you are using a graph and it is so then we can simply say that the median mark is 16.5 that is the median mark is 16 it could also be less than that maybe 16.1 16.2 dependent but always if you are using the graph sheets there is importance in accuracy you have to be careful there is importance in accuracy because there is always plus or minus, minus a small amount uh, of error allowed so if for example uh, looking at this is it even up to that no it might be around 16.2 yes around 16.2 or let's say even 16 is very close so we can therefore say that the median of this figure, I mean, uh, of, of this class, the median mark is 16.2. So if really it is 16.2, then we are not so wrong because this is the same figure we calculated. And when we calculated, I think we had something like 16.1. So yeah, it was 16.3333, that was it. So if it is 16.3333, and then we get something like 16.2. We are not far from it. So class, this is the little that I want us to be discussing today. Next time, we are moving on to other things, especially the measures of uh, uh, dispersion and the rest. Thank you very much.